Hey guys, this is Loreas again. Um, today we're going to be doing another How Does It Work. This time I'm going to be, I will be covering the critical effects. Now, I've been seeing a ton of questions online about when does a critical happen? When does ACMs happen? Uh, is a critical a damage and something else? I'm going to cover that all here. So, um, if you have any questions, save them till the end. Just watch it through. Um, you can see I've got some of my Corsex stuff laid out. Like I said, I was going to start using these to lay out defense tokens, setting them by the ships they belong to, so you have an idea. Um, I will paint the speed numbers later. Not, I could paint them or I could crown them. I think I'm going to go with the crowns just because they're easier. Um, but to the critical effects. So the standard critical effect, okay? Now, the critical effect does not happen until after defense tokens are spent. So, I have to spend my evades, I have to spend my braces, and my redirects. I get to spend those first before your critical effect can even be picked. You can't even pick the critical effect until I've spent my defense tokens. That's important um, for ones like Overload Pulse, which I'll go into later. Um, what's next? From there, after you uh, spent your defense tokens, then the critical effect is selected. And these vary. Um, cards that have black, like ACMs here have black and the critical symbol right there, that means it's a critical effect. That means it's looking for critical di it's looking for a critical icon on that color dice. Like here's ion cannon batteries, blue critical. Overload pulse. Now this is a fun one. Um, it's interesting to note that this one exhausts all the defenders' defense tokens. It doesn't remove them if they're already exhausted. It just flips them from green to red. So if uh, an overload pulse happened on this nebulon right here, which is what this one belongs to, because of one evade and two crits, or two braces, let's refocus for you, sorry about that, there we go, if the overload pulse happened on the nebulon, and he had un, and let's say he tried to evade, but couldn't, let's see, he was at close range, no mon mothma, couldn't evade, his brace was useless against one critical damage, so he just, you know, has to take it, and if that's the case, then all his defense tokens get flipped over to red. If they were already red, they stay red. They don't disappear. So, that's important to know. Um, from there... Okay, cool. From there, we're looking at... I'll go over the critical effects, and we'll just go through a few of them. We'll go through all the ones I can think of. Oh, I'm missing one. I'm missing Dodonna's Pride. I'm going to go over that one, and a really cool a mission objective that it goes with. Now... First off, we have XX, there we go, oh come on, zoom nicely, there we go. We have XX9 turbo lasers. Now, this has just a critical symbol, so it's still a critical effect, okay? Um, this is a replacement effect. So you choose this effect instead of the standard critical, um, and I'll go over the standard critical. Actually, I'll go over it right now. The standard critical is the first card that the defender would take is dealt face up. Now, I'm paraphrasing, so I might be off by a few words, but I'm not off by much. And this is important because, let's say, for instance, that this gladiator just hit that uh, the CR-90 right here. Okay. The CR-90 lost all of its shields from the side dice, <clears throat> excuse me, from the side attack, right there, lost all of its shields, and is now taking a damage. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> so, the CR-90 is taking damage. The damage, if he didn't have, like, ACMs, which we'll go over later, um, and he's just using the standard critical, he's going to do damage cards to the hull. Now... You can pick this, you pick a critical effect, you get it no matter what. So before damage is dealt, after defense tokens are spent, but before damage is dealt, 
you're going to choose your critical effect, okay? You're going to choose, I'm going to use the standard critical because I want, you know, you to take a damage card. Okay, that's fine. So then all the damage goes through and then the critical effect happens. So in this case, the first card dealt face up or the first card, first damage card dealt. So dealt the damage card is now dealt face up. And this one's compartment fire. He cannot ready defense tokens. Um, all right, that's how that works. That's the standard critical. Um, then we have other criticals such as XX9 turbo lasers. Now this is still a critical effect because it's got the critical symbol and a colon, okay? That's important because you've got cards like Salvation that says when your dice shows a critical icon, it does two damage. This instead is just replaces the standard critical. Well, it doesn't even replace. You pick this, okay? You pick this instead of the normal critical effect. Because you could pick this, the basic critical effect I just showed you. All right? So here we have the first two damage cards dealt to the defender by this attack are dealt face up. So instead of one damage card being dealt face up as the normal for the standard critical, you deal two if you're doing two damage. If you're only dealing one damage, it's still only one card. Next we have Overload Pulse, which I showed you is a blue critical, so you need a blue dice with a critical icon, and you exhaust all the defender's uh, defense tokens. Next we have Ion Cannon Batteries, which are... I, I'm, I'm on the fence about these. Um, you choose and discard one command token from the defender. If he doesn't have a command token left, the defending hull zone loses one shield instead. It it goes down in value. I mean, it's a great way to get through shields, but after that, there, it deals no damage to hull. So, it's I'm kind of uh, really on the fence about it. Now, these are my favorite uh, assault concussion missiles. Anyone who's ever played the Demolisher or a Gladiator, or watch or uh, listen to what happened at Nationals, understands that this card is amazing. Um, now, some people um, like enhanced launchers on their gladiators because they feel they can get the front arc much easier, but I enjoy, thoroughly enjoy Assault Concussion Missiles more. Um, this is a black critical, and each hull zone adjacent to the defending hull zone suffers one extra damage, or suffers one damage. I'm going to start this, I'm going to start going over these by going over Assault Concussion Missiles, because there's a reason. We call them ACMs, uh, just one letter short, um, of e or just one letter of each. Um, here's how ACMs work, okay? I'm going to do an attack. We're going to say that this Nebulon is getting an attack from this Demolisher from the side arc, and he has Screed and a Concentrate Fire, okay? So that's five black dice, and he has screed, so he can flip a, he can flip a, uh, where's one, there we go, he can flip, or he can spend a dice, sorry, he can spend a dice, which means to get rid of a dice, if you've watched my attacking video, to change a dice to a face with a um, critical icon. Doesn't have to be just a critical, has to be a crit, can be a critical icon. So, black dice have... Ta -ta -da. critical and hits so that means that I can change the dice to a, a dice face with a critical and a hit so let's roll these five dice from the side arc and see what happens we've got a critical and a hit critical and two blanks so obviously Screed is gonna change that by getting rid of this dice so we have seven points of damage right here now and he has ACMs as well. So that's the whole point of this, is the Assault Concussion Missiles. So, first thing happens is, I've laid these out in the order you want to spin them. Or the order they resolve, sorry. So, Navigates resolve first, they happen immediately. All the other ones wait until later in the damage steps to occur. So, these happen first. And they happen immediately. So, I'm going to make him re-roll this. I've had horrible luck in my last tournament. Every time I made someone re-roll a black dice, they roll a hit and crit. Thankfully, not this time. Which is actually good, because that was seven damage, now it's six. That's important, because... Brace. Now, we haven't totaled damage yet, technically, through the rules. You can tell that's six damage. 
Um, let's even get a closer look for you guys. You can tell that's six damage. You can tell that's side arc to the front shields. You can tell all these things. I gotta find out a better system for this. One day, one day. Oh, uh, something's leaning. That's not good. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Um, okay, so now we've evaded, made him roll into a hit, and now we've braced. Brace doesn't happen yet. Now he selects his... I've spent all my defense tokens because I can only spend one of each type. Um, and I only have two types here. So now he selects his critical effect. He's going to select assault concussion missiles. So, assault concussion missiles. Um, from there, we total damage. So we have two, four, five, six. And then we play a brace that it goes into effect. So six divided by two is three. If it was still seven damage, it would have been four damage because 3.5 rounded up four. So actually you lost the damage, that's good. So that's six damage down to three. So some people like to take dice away. I don't do that because the dice are still technically there. They're still doing something. So if this was my only critical, or my only critical, it's still technically there. So now, we remove shields. If there was a... Actually, we don't remove shields. We'll do the critical effect now, I believe. Some people wait until after shields are done. Some people don't. Um, personally, no. You wait until after shields are done because of the redirect. So, yeah. Wait until after shields are done. So now... In the case of a redirect, now that we've total damage, we're going to apply damage. This is where your redirects take place. So if I had a redirect, which these things don't, which sucks sometimes, but you know, that's a thing. Um, I could change it to a side facing. Then the assault concussion missiles happen. So watch this. So I'm going to take three damage on the front, which is all the damage, right? And then assault concussion missiles are going to go into effect. The adjacent hull zones, my left and right side, my, star my port and starboard sides, are going to take one damage each. So now, I have zero damage on three facings. That's huge, okay? That is immense. Because now, that's effectively, what, six, seven? That's ten points of engineering that I would have to do in order to recover all those shields. Now I can only shift shields from my side to my front, but that's I'd need two points to do that, uh, to move both shields. And in the moment, that nebulon looks like it's going to go boom. So, that's how assault concussion missiles work. That's how the critical effect works. Um, it always happens after, after shields are taken away. Okay, You select it way before damage is even dealt way before the brace is added in way before the redirect is added in you select it but it goes into effect after all the damage and all the defense tokens have taken place brace doesn't negate it because it hasn't happened yet or doesn't even mitigate it or half it because it hasn't happened yet um, redirect doesn't take into account because it happens after the shields have gone so if I redirected let's say it was instead the guppy let's say it was space whale or um, some other ship like the, like the Victory Star Destroyer who has redirects. And I used an evade to drop it down to make him reroll and he got six again. And then I braced. Oh, you can barely see it. There we go. I evaded and then I'm bracing. And then I redirect. And he's hitting my front. So I'm going to redirect two of the damage right here. So I'm going to redirect right here take one damage, we're already in the step where damage is being totaled up, so four, so down to three, one, and then assault concussion missiles, I'm gonna go to zero here, and I'm gonna go to two here. So he still did five points of damage, but after everything was spent. So that's how the critical effect works, guys. Um, I showed you how defense tokens work a bit more, and where they go into effect. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, criticisms, or things you want me to cover, Comment below. You can find me on the on the FFG Armada forums or on Reddit as Loreus. Uh, currently, I have a guy with a red helmet on at the FFG forums, but that changes every now and then. Um, if you have any questions, as always, um, comment, subscribe, like below. Thank you, and have a great day.